Hello, this is Zephy here. Um, I'm so glad you've joined me tonight. I was busy making um, this tag and I thought why not do it online and uh, just share it. Um, it's a Prima tag. It had Prima flowers. You, uh, you can vaguely see the tag underneath but you'll recognize the top. So um, what I did is I dressed it at the back and I misted it once it had dried I misted it with Lindy Stamp Gang with this green uh, ethereal emerald and um, on the top I just cut some lace and glued it on I don't know what I'm going to do with this stamp chat it keeps on closing excuse the French um, can you hear me and see me? I hope so um, I see we've got some guests guests um, why don't you sign in um, make yourself a, a profile and sign in and then you can participate in the chat it's so much more fun so just um, sign up or if you are signed up log in so you need a username and a password anyway so as I was saying I um, used some lace some of this lace in fact I put Claudine, ha Claude, uh, Claudine Helmet matte medium down. I put the, uh, the lace on. And while the matte medium was still wet, I added some glitter. I don't know if you can see the glitter. The camera is not picking up the glitter. If I move the light, it may pick it up a little bit. No. Anyway, believe me, there's glitter on that. Okay. This image, um, I had colored a while back um, it's from this um, CD's stamp set and it's called sophisticated friends it's this lady here so um, I'm making this to send to somebody so I thought let me um, do it online and um, we can work on this together um, some Greek girls were asking what seam binding is. Girls, this is seam binding. Um, it was originally sewn into seams um, on materials that were very, very fine. And um, it takes color very well. I just need to find the end. Um, Rula, uh, at least Rula from Heart to Craft have some although hers is quite synthetic so if you do burn the edges do be careful I'll show you how Rula's looks now this, this is from Rula hers is just a little a little bit harder the one I've got here is a little bit loose more loosely woven but when you burn the edges of this one from heart to craft just be careful it, it does ignite okay so don't burn the edges <sighs> that's going to go on the end I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet what I did do is I cut up a doily I cut up this doily and I've cut a piece off and I'm thinking I'll use that as like a skirt it was very difficult to cut up this doily believe you me I still have a problem cutting up doilies and I'm actually thinking that I might be able to use
and then I had a flower which I have now lost This is um, like a tissue paper. It's not a tissue paper, it's more like a, a tracing paper. I'm thinking of using that for her skirt. You, you can all see... Hi Debbie, how are you? Uh, no Debbie, um, the edge of the tag, it's a Prima tag. There were there were flowers on it, and that is the print of the tag. It's got flowers here. You can see that's it said um, five pieces or something, and that tore as I pulled it off. And if you look carefully, you can see there's flowers underneath there, with a little uh, a zigzag. So it looks quite pretty. And then I've added lace on top of it in case you missed me saying that. And I'm busy making a tag. I wanted to actually take out my feathers and see how they will look. I want to put this piece over the, the opening of the tag. And it's going to need something at the back, can you see? unless we put the seam binding in at the back there so uh, that's why I'm faffing with this because I want I want that at the bottom and then I want I think I want the flowers over the filigree bit I'm actually thinking that I'm going to uh, put the seam oopsie sorry I'm thinking I'm going to put the seam mining in through the filigree. I just want to make this hole a tiny little bit bigger. So I'm just going to use my cropper doll. To make the hole a little bit bigger. And this back is not looking very pretty. And I think I want to just um, put a little bit more... A little bit more gesso on at the back or a little bit less Just sort this out quickly I've diminished the lights because it looks better on camera but I'm having problems I'm used to working in more light This is just a tiny bit of gesso on the filigree bit. Um, you can all see I put a link um, up below, up above on the chat. Um, it's Nectar's creation. Uh, it's my friend Nectaria, and she designs um, scrapbook paper to download and um, she's busy working on a Christmas paper now that is going to be absolutely delicious it's like a mustard and a white and yellow and it's really going to be cool so um, look out for it it should be uploaded um, in the course of the week and I'll be doing a mini a nice Christmas mini with the papers so um, and we will be do, doing it she'll also make one and I'll make one she we're going to make it very very dimensional there'll be like feathers and wood and gold why do I have a feeling this didn't stick because it didn't and I'm wondering if I shouldn't stick it down with um, glossy accent. Make 
she wanted this underneath there. Just quickly put this on to just a little thank you sentiment. I actually don't even know where it came from. I found this. You know, I have my little boxes where I keep all the little leftovers. And this was in there. And it fitted in here just perfectly. There. And then we might as well put this on too. This I'd cut out of some... Is it Hero Arts paper, I think? I'll have a look now, just let me just stick this down. This is a problem with wet glue that you've got to be careful that it doesn't slip away. There we go. I'll tell you what this paper is in a second. It's actually basic grey, I think. Uh, I can't remember. I think it's this basic grey pad that it came out of. I think it's a basic grey. It was just a scrap that was lying around here so I can't remember. I have a feeling it might be basic grey. Hi Nectaria. How are you? Is my screen looking better today? Or is it still a very big glare? I'm just thinking I want something underneath the flowers. I want a bit of a trim over this Prima thing. I'm so glad. I can hardly see though. That's the only problem because I'm working in the shadows here. It's either that or the pink. But I think I want that. And actually, I think I'm a little bit early for the Greek girls. Uh, but I was busy with this tag and I thought, let me just do it on camera how are the papers going next area you should put a little preview on your um, on your blog just a little teaser there's quite a lot of girls that want to do journal your Christmas. Although I, I envisage the mini um, with your papers, just a little mini, not not so much as a journal your Christmas thing. Not a big mini. I don't know what you think. There we go. Good, 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 good. I'm so glad you're going to post it. Natalia says she's going to try and post a bit of a teaser for us. Look what I've just done. Just cut that flower, which is actually quite a good idea, actually, because it's closed that up now. And then I think I want to put this on here too. I'll see about that one at the end. 
I think I'm, I'm going to put her down too and then we'll wor work around her she's going to get the cork as a little um, it's, I want this to look like a bit of a chair like she's sitting against something This is just a piece of cork. You know what I did is I've got these little tins where I put in all my leftovers and um, I often just go through them before I'm going to do a project. I'm going to do some altered match boxes and I was scratching around them uh, in the tins looking for stuff to use and I found these things and I thought why don't I make a little tag. So I've got three match boxes in the pipeline. Um, the two I'm going to use the Nutcracker paper from uh, Graphic 45. That's the end of our glue stick. Sorry, I just need to get out some more glue sticks. So a little bit of scratching is happening right now. Okay. And we'll put her down. I'm wondering if I should ink, if I should um, ink around the edges a tiny little bit. I think I may. Um, I wonder if we should stick her down with hot glue. I think we won't. I think we'll use the Claudia helmet because the hot glue will be... Might get, the hot glue might get a bit lumpy. So we'll definitely stick her down like this. And I, I'm going to not put any Claudia helmet on top because I've coloured her with water colours. I don't have pro markers. I don't have alcohol markers. So uh, that's the one disadvantage of my images is that they they smudge. So I need to be extra careful. This is coloured with uh, water pencils and then I put glitter pen in on top of it I think if I remember correctly well that's what it is because I don't have anything else uh, I just need to make extra specially sure just make extra sure that this glass is going to stick down There we go. Um, what's happening is the lace and the glitter is underneath here, so there's not, it's, there isn't a smooth surface for this thing to attach onto. But where is it going to go?
Okay. Okay, that's what we've got so far. Um, we want to try and make her dress. What I've done is I had a little scrap of this lace which I've um, just threaded through some cotton to make a ruffle. So that's going to get used. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to stick this on just yet. And I'm wondering if I can, I'm going to cut this one flower off. I just hope I don't live to regret it. Maybe I can use it somewhere else. My scraps and pieces are all so precious to me that I save and use them all. I'm thinking that maybe they can go in underneath that or somewhere. We'll see now. I just want to see what I'm going to do with this dress first. And then um, you know that crocheting has a, got, uh, has a good and a wrong side. And I don't know how well you can see that. That's a good side, I think. This side that's bumpy is the wrong side. Can you see that there's more details there? That's a good side. See? So, um, I'm thinking that I want to put this in underneath here somehow. Maybe I shouldn't uh, glue this down on the tag. Let's just do it there. Because the next thing I know, it's all stuck. So what I basically wanted to do is I want this to look like a little petticoat. Something like that. <laughs> so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue and glue it down. It's just hellish hot. Just be careful when you do this. Just burnt my finger. Hoping that the glue is not going to show on the other side. Okay. Uh, what we can do now, if we want, we can even if the, if the thread comes out, we can pull it out. It doesn't really matter because the lace is tied down now. But uh, the thread may not come out because if the glue's touched it, it won't move. Hello Kelly, how are you? You well? How's the new shop going Kelly? Calorizico.
just burnt myself again. Okay, I think that's on now. So we have this with that showing. I'm so glad, Kelly. I hope you um, have a wonderful business going there and I wish you a good season. Uh, Kelly has just open a nice pizza shop up in Arachova in Greece um, Arachova is one of our main skiing centers just close out of Athens or well, close enough now you know what I had a little chipboard piece that I wanted to put on here it was perfect and I've lost it again Um, these are finds that have been on my desk. This is a little die cut that landed up in my missing box somehow. I don't know. Often when I do projects, I take out things and make some embellishments and then they don't work out. So I just put them in the box again. And what I want to do here is... What color is this? Hold on, let me see what it says. Gorgeous Rose. These are twinkling edge to O's. And I'm thinking that just maybe, just maybe, maybe, I can put a little bit on this. Just a little bit of color there. Okay, what do you think? Okay. I don't waste any color. It goes into my journal and it starts making a background. Um, here's a little bit. That's just a little chipboard bit. Oh, K Kelly, if we get an opportunity, if my husband comes over December and we feel like going for a little bit of a ride, we might pop over. But to come alone, I don't think so, my love. This is a little chipboard heart that I gessoed and then I misted it with the green that I showed you. Remember I showed you the color in the beginning? This here, the ethereal emerald. And then um, I gessoed it again and I added some of this. And I gessoed it again and added glitter. So it's, it's quite a little 
collection of layers and that's going up here it was a little chipboard with um, with sticker backing and I found that the little uh, you know the peel off stickers never work on the on the chipboards why I'm putting that there is I want to cover that Prima logo a little bit okay now we need bling I haven't sorted out what bling I want yet let's put this needle out the way um, that's the back I think I'm going to die cut a piece of this is from my misting box, but it's it's beautiful. It's got mists. I'm thinking of this section. Just die cutting out a shape. Or maybe I'll cut it and then cut it with my corner chomper. I'll see. Um, I'm wondering if we should color this a bit. No. I think it will become too cheap. I think I'm going to leave the seam binding beige so that it can match with the... Um, back of the tag I'm going to pull it through like this. Okay. Oh yes, next idea. Pearls are a lovely idea. You're such a clever girl. And we're going to use pearls in your book as well. For sure. I want some lace for up here. Um, I don't know about that piece. Okay. I had pulled this as well when I was um, planning this and I might still put this on at the back actually quite like that for there this <laughs> this is a strap from a sandal girls from an evening sandal can you see what it is Of course, I never stick down anything straight. That was this, uh, that was where the buckle went in. Don't you think that's gorgeous? And I think I want that little flower there. I like the green because it picks up the green that olive that's on the top of this. okay let's see what we've got we're not finished with the top I've got these I had taken these out these Katerina had given me once when she swapped a mini with me I thought we could use these little pink thingies maybe in here amongst the flowers we'll see now and let me take out bling and see what we've got. Mm. 
this is a packet of embellishments I don't even know where they came from No, no can do. Okay, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, but I'm hoping to find something a little bit more interesting than just curls. I've got all of this Prima stuff. Haven't used it anywhere. Sorry, I know this makes a terrible noise on camera. I'm so sorry about that. But there's a strip here, and actually, I must take some out. I can actually send some of this to Louise. This actually has um, glue on the back. It's got sticky tape at the back. Look how nice this tag is. I think that was my name there. So cute. I love this tag. <laughs> That's why that dangly, this dangly one almost worked, Nectalia, because of that reason. And that's exactly why I put it there. You read my mind, girl. You remember I had it over here? But I think it's too much. But what I could do is I could make a little dangle like that and just hang it over there, you know, something softer with some beads. Um, I'm not entirely sure that the, you know, the pearl, the bling is working with this. I'm not feeling it. I think the pearls will be better. It would have been nice to have a piece of this, but that's not working. And for that reason, this is also not going to work. I think we need to stay with something warmer because our colors are, are like the pink and much softer and that's why I took out these but these again are two apricots they're too washed out okay you won't believe what's been happening to me I bought these two little packets of doodads from Lily and they've they've i've been misplacing them all the time it's it's unbelievable and i've lost them again let me see
when I find the one packet, I lose the other packet because they, they're so small and so precious that I don't want to lose them and I put them in places and then I can't find them. This in here is um, stuff for the boxes. I want to show you something afterwards. Look. Isn't that so precious? We could put that in her hair. That's going to go in her hat. I have just decided that's going to go in her hair. Where's my paint? We're painting these pink so that if they stick out it doesn't matter. Plus I've just I splashed a bit on her hat, so I've added some in the hat. Okay. <laughs> I'm so glad you girls agree with me. This is called, and um, this, uh, these little stuff I bought from a girl called Leah Lenika. She has a zibit stall called Shabby Licious. And um, they're, really, they're really quite inexpensive. And I had another packet and I've lost it. Don't know where I've put it. I bought this little filigree from her too, I think. Let me quickly show you my paper beads. This is when I made one night when I was bored. I didn't feel like doing anything. So I made some paper beads. Look. Aren't they cute? Those are bigger. I'm not mad for the big ones. My daughter Rafaela says they look boring. I need to use brighter colors. Cute, eh? Yep. Oh, another thing I want to show you. Um, Greek girls, pay attention. You know we always have a difficulty finding embellishments. Well, I found these. Look, look, look. Look how sweet and fine they are. My camera stopped. Look. Plus, little pine cones. And I think they're real little pine cones. You can see how big they are. They're tiny. Um, Nectaria, I used UT on them. It was so easy. Now, let me tell you what these are. These cost me exactly one euro forty. I found this at the Christmas store. It's like a little wreath. And I've just dismembered it and just mantled it. It even has little leaves. Girls for 140. I mean, what can you buy for 140? One euro forty. And um, go and have a look. And what you do is you just pull them apart. Because I was looking for Christmas embellishments and I, I really don't have much. So this is perfect like for the little match boxes they're going to be perfect little embellishments and there's white ones and gold ones so go to the Christmas stores and have a look I think um, with the way the economic crisis is at the moment everyone's lowered their prices I mean this I don't this is where I pulled these off from can you see 
I just unclipped the wire and I wound them off but you need to be very very careful because I wasn't careful initially and I broke I broke quite a few of the cones because they're real I thought they were plastic so I was handling it rather roughly so and oh let me just show you my one matchbox that I'm going to do is going to have gingerbread men on it so that's the next project I'll do on camera so stay tuned uh, the clear the beads are you just roll them in your watermark ink and then put UT over them and um, it's better and then the other brown ones oh, the big brown ones had nail polish with glitter on them this one here has nail polish but I, I did it very roughly and then this this one has UT as does that one they look like little shells you write um, Um, I'm looking to see where I'll have pearls. I want something nice for the top. Um, um, um. I think we've got too many round things. This is quite nice. This is a little necklace that um, my daughter had found. Oh, we had found it. Uh, some guy was selling the stuff on eBay. And I'm actually thinking that this is going to be nice. This piece here. That could be a little dangle. And that's very nice too. I like that because it matches the flowers. Oh yes. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can play with that. Okay, I might bump the camera again. Let me just put these things away. Oops, sorry. I've got to reach to the window behind me. So, um, where are we? Hello, Christina. How are you? Yes, Christmas is here. Christmas is here. And I still haven't done my, my cancer little mini. Okay, you know what you need for this now? I've got my old Tim Holtz scissors. I've got one scissors for just this kind of job. Did you see that, ladies? Did you see that? I didn't even bother with the little cutters. Just cut it off with my Tim Holtz scissors. And then there's a little bit of a sharp edge there. So what you do is, I do have a little metal file but a normal nail file also just does the job. Tikani Christina, it's a color. Christina, what country are you in again? That's going there, girls, in the center. Like that. Then. Then I want this pearl here.
Okay, where did that loop go? That came off here. Am I off camera? I am. Just give me a shot when I do that. Okay, let's see if we can get this in. There we go. Okay, when you, um, you all know this, I'm sure. When you open little loops, uh, I'm, I'm sure most of you know this, but I'm saying it just in case some girls don't. Let me get a bigger one out so that you can see, because we've, it will be crazy to try and show you with something small. Here, here's a big one. Okay, that's a big one. Let's pretend it's a tiny little one. Never ever pull them apart. Always get two pliers and move the one forward and the other one back. Like, like that. Okay? And then when you want to bring them cl to close again, you bring them towards each other again. Okay? And, and try not to move it too much because if you manipulate metal too much, it cracks, it breaks. It's what happens is it gets metal fatigue and it breaks okay so um, that's how you do that okay to open it you just take two little pliers or you use your fingers for the little ones and you open it that way and you close it like that okay that's basically what I did here but it's so tiny you could hardly see so I've got this little pearl and I'm thinking of putting the pearl in here somewhere. I must remember that I like that there. And I want to find another piece of something. I'm not sure I like the bow. I want a very fine lace. We'll dig for lace and then this will go over there. So what I'm thinking about here is I'm thinking a little eyelet. So we can do what Nectaria says so it looks like she's touching the pearl. We're going to put a little eyelet in there. Just there. I'm looking for eyelets. I'm, I'm wondering if I've got small very small ones. The only problem now is with this chain. Oh. Is that we're going to need a loop to go through here. So, um, do 
you know what I've I've ruined my crocodile because we tried to um, set some huge we were making an album one day with Alina and we tried to set some huge eyelets and I think I broke it where's that box with the loops again I'm wondering if this is going to be good for here I'm not so sure that this is going to work you know what we're going to do um, we're going to do this watch and see I hope that this goes through here <laughs> I didn't think of it I don't think this chain is going to go through this eyelet so I'm going to have to look for a finer chain and I love the color of this chain no it's not going to go through here girls oh dear I was thinking of putting the chain through that eyelet and then putting this loop at the back here to hold it in but now um, so that I don't have to go hunting for a new chain we'll see how this looks I just cut it just now. I don't know if you saw. I just need to pick up these tiny bits quickly. There we go. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We need a, a thinner loop. Okay. Okay. I hope it's not going to be too long now. Nectaria, how are the papers going? Can't wait for them. So excited. It's a little bit too long. You see what happened? That that loop is too thick, so it won't go through this chain. I have to cut the chain a little bit shorter again. I want it to hang just above her hand. that looks okay I 
it's still too long. It's still too long. Ah. Yeah, I'm thinking of something else. Um, maybe this is why I don't stream so often because I, I usually think and don't talk. I'm wondering if I can get this in there. These won't fit in there either. But maybe another bread will fit in there. Um, mum, 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 mum. Then, of course, we're going to have to live with. Um, going to make a plan at the back here maybe that's where we're going to put that little flat the lace flower that we had that's where that is going to go okay this is what we've got okay now I want to find um, you see I've got these tape closed because my grandson comes into here and we it's a disaster waiting to happen okay put that away quickly I want very fine lace now I don't have very much fine, fine lace. I wonder if I mustn't put some ribbon. Let me quickly show you what I found. Wait, let's just quickly find the lace and then I'll show you what I found. like a very fine binding although I don't know if I like the color I really wanted a very very fine lace
Um, Natalia, before I carry on, look. I got these for 6 euros. In other words, 3 euros each. So I definitely want to alter them. Put stuff in them. They glass. They're a little bit more expensive than what they had them at the show. But they're quite thick. The only problem is that the little... Um, opening isn't very big so it's going to be a bit of a challenge and then I got these for seven euros each at that guy we were looking up on the internet on Sunday you see the little cones can fit in there so you can basically only put stuff in that can um, fit through the nozzle and it's going to be quite a mission to get them to stick you know where you want them the little cone can just just if I give it a squeeze it would go in but if it falls in it will never be able to come out again so this is going to be quite challenging I can see us working like surgeons with with little um, uh, kebab sticks trying to get stuff in and gluing stuff down so it's going to be quite a challenge they are nice and big and I was thinking of the one it it might be a bit kitsch but I was thinking of the one I want to take a little photo of my grandson and um, then reverse you know mirror image it on the computer so that I can stick it back to back so other side if you look at it from the front of the back there'll be an image on it and then put it in here but you'll have to print it on on soft paper because you're going to have two layers and you're going to roll it and then it's going to have to open so it's 30 euros for all, all yes uh, six and seven yes all five they were they were 16 for uh, you're so clever <laughs> but they weren't so big the big ones are really big here the big ones are quite big the big ones are actually quite nice in fact uh, you, you'll be wondering what you put in the big ones I think sorry I just had a drink of water I'm looking for something to add to the seam binding. I'm, uh, the way I see it, the seam binding is going to go in on its own. There's nothing fine in here. There is something here. love it girls this is what I managed to find in Mitilini this year everything in this bottle was from Mitilini the guy at the park must have thought I was crazy because I was telling him don't you have Pizzatakia just go find me Pizzatakia and he was wondering what the hell this young girl wants to do with Pizzatakia hi Elvira Chikanis How cute is this trim? You don't want to know how dirty this trim was. I've washed it, but I haven't ironed it. I actually washed them with chlorine. A bit of chlorine. Because they were filthy dirty. This is going to go in here now. I'm not going to thread it through. I'm just going to hot glue it on. What's this up here, Amor? It's a color. Pia can I not tag? Okay. 
I'm almost finished. I'm talking too much again. Why do I always talk so much? Okay, I've just plugged in my hot glue again, again because I had taken it off. I want to Is it your color? Alvira had a cold Are you better Alvira King? I'm very tempted to miss that, but it. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Just to give it a, a little shabby feeling. How long have we been on for? Eight fifty. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is. I'm going to put a little bit of this on here as well. I'm so glad I found this. It's just perfect. Okay, the hot glue is not hot yet. So that's going to go on there and then that's going to go on top of it. And this is going to come on the back over here. Over here. This is going to come on there. So we can cover the bread with with maybe another little flower in it I don't know why the hot glue gun is not Okay, it might be a little bit too much, but I think it's good. I don't think this is, um, this is good. It, it definitely is too much for the clean and simple girls. Where are you clean and simple girls? It, but it's not enough for the shabby chic girls. Okay, I want one more. You see, I've lost them again. Here they are. Like this. I actually should have got more than these. I just bought one lot. I think they were 10. 10 for about 2 euros, 2 dollars, I think.
and in here I don't like what this is looking like over here that's the opening of the tag this was a prima tag from the flowers okay that that covered the little bread that was holding the pearl and this was the opening of the prima tag and in, in front we've got this No, no, the back here. No, I've missed it, the back, Nathalia. I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut a little uh, journaling spot now for here. I'm thinking. I'm thinking along the lines of maybe. Um, spell miners nest abilities teardrop circle and I'm going to cut it out of a piece of my misting paper thinking here Um, girls, I'm going to uh, just, you're going to give me a minute, I'm going to stop the recording so that I can um, save it so I can put this on YouTube. I think this is going to come here. It actually looks nice without it, if you ask me. put that in there but I want to write on it first and then stick it on and then I'm going to carry on with the matchboxes okay so just give me two seconds to um, save